Listen to me. This isn't a game anymore. Okay, this isn't even about the family business. This is about Danny. He's really falling in love with you. He came over to my apartment. He threatened to kill me if I didn't stay away from you. Why, why would he do that? Because he knows that what we have is so strong that he's scared. No, Danny would never do anything like that. But then, Michelle, he said he would never let anyone touch you. And I know what was going on through his mind. Look, I'm not going to let this go on, Michelle. supposed to do you have to betray him you have to do something so terrible that everything that you have had with him it doesn't mean anything because I love Danny that's right <laughs> to her and my family my family is looking for a way to make her pay for killing my brother it was an accident it was self-defense but you know my family that doesn't matter yes Danny I know your family but I also know you I have to protect her I can't let anything happen to my wife I don't have a choice father it is always a choice Pray for it, Danny. Promise me that you won't do anything until you come back. You must find another way. I'll pray on it, Father. But please say a prayer of forgiveness for me. Well, I can't absolve you for something you haven't done. Something that I hope to God you will never do. But I will say a prayer for you. Thank you, Father. In the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, remember Daniel in this time of great confusion and help him. Help him to find a path to your grace. And dear Lord, grant him the strength to forgive and forbear vengeance on his brother. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Daniel, if you give in to your fears, if you don't listen to God as to what is best for you, your soul will be in mortal danger. Please, you must not do this. I will, I will try, Father.
you come in from the um, observation deck. So? So what? Why are we here? What was your plan? Place. This is where Jesse and I are to be in love. We said private wedding vows to each other before God. The truest words I've ever spoken. Okay, so what are we doing here, Michelle? Are we taking some sort of trip down memory lane? No. This is where it has to be. What? If I'm going to convince Jesse that I don't love him anymore, then he has to find us here. In bed. Can you? Can you go through with this? Yes. 